All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to temporarily disable direct messages on Discord. So the simple answer is, if you're on a community server, you have the option, if you pull down your menu here at the top, to use security actions on your server, and this is what allows you to pause direct messaging on your server until you can deal with the incident. So you don't necessarily always have to pause all invites or pause all DMs anytime there's an incident that goes on on your server that you need to pause things in order to get a handle on it. Sometimes you just need to pause invites, sometimes you just need to pause direct messages, sometimes you might not be worried about either of them. But you can pause them for a certain period of time, up to 24 hours, with a minimum of an hour after you click save, and it'll automatically say at the top here that some security actions have been taken and how long they will be in effect. And then at any time, you can also remove that by simply toggling it off and hitting save. Once you do that, it'll ask you what's going on, but you don't necessarily have to tell them. And that's it. That's how you pause direct messages and also how you can pause invites to the server using the new security actions. I don't believe this is available, or if it is, it's not available yet on smaller servers. Like on my test server, I don't have those actions, but I can, if I go into my server settings, I might actually be able to pause. No, I, I can't pause invites to the server either. I, uh, let's go to the invites. Yeah, I can't pause people joining the server from my invite section either on a regular server. So you'd have to have your server set as a community server in order to make full use of these new features. So I hope you found that helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.